What's going on, everybody? Uh, today, we are going to just do a, a pre-trip. I'm going to show you how I do a pre-trip on our Cessna 150 here. Uh, the first thing I do is I always check the fuel. Just keep this handy little ladder in the back seat, nice and light. Fits back there perfectly. It's only a little two-seater. Got our fuel gauge here. Swim quick. Let's see what we got here. Looks like we got about nine gallons on this side. Make sure to put the cat back on, make sure it's nice and tight and secured. check the other one looks like it's about the same a little under nine gallons it's all warning horn sounds good that lights good good over here looks like our beacon needs some attention We'll have to address that before we take off. Not legal to fly with, without a beacon. This light is good, and we're good here. All the lights are good, except we're going to have to address that, uh, that beacon there. Make sure those are fully extended. There's no screws loose or anything like that. Check this bolt here. You know, kind of do a... Check the antenna, check the fuselage. We're looking for any loose screws, anything like that. Again, checking for loose screws. Make sure all the pins are in the right spot. So fun to get underneath here. We're checking to make sure that the rod is good. Um, the stops, the stop tabs are intact and not broken. We have all the pins in the right spot. Nothing's loose, nothing's broken, nothing is cracked. Checking the tail, checking the fins. Make sure the skin is good. I like to gently just lift it up, make sure that the trim tab, bolts are good, the rod is good, nice and clear, and no loose screws there. Everything is good there, inspection plate's good, no loose screws. The antennas look like they are good there. Underneath, I like to just kind of make sure that there's nothing under here, nothing loose, the skin's good, and then I check the flap once again. All the screws are good, bolts are good, nothing's loose. I'll check the aileron, I'll gently lift up, look underneath, and what I'm looking for is any loose bolts. Everything is good there. Make sure, check the rod, make sure that's tight. Checking the screws here. Okay, that's everything looks good here. And I like to just grab the end here, give it a little shake, make sure that it's tight, nothing is broken, feels good. Nothing's cracked, nothing is broken. While I'm up here, I will do a quick fuel test. Make sure there's no water in the system. Looks like we got a little bit of water there. Do it again, and I'll just keep doing that until I don't see anything. All right, I think we're good to go there. And then while I have my, my light on, I'll come down here and I will inspect the brakes Pads look good, nothing's leaking, everything is tight, brake pads look good, bolts look good, nice, solid, and secured. Tires look good, full of air. And just make some sure I don't see anything out of the ordinary while I'm underneath here. See that? That's what we're looking for. That's not good. All right, looks like it's clear. It looks like we need to little, add a little bit of nitrogen to this shock here, and we'll do that before we go ahead and take off. Exhaust is good, and we'll just check the other side here real quick. Let's check the oil. Take it off like that, and I'll grab my phone again and use my light just to kind of visually inspect Let's see if there's anything out of the ordinary. See if anything's leaking. Which, everything looks good, everything looks tight. A little over four. 
four quarts. I think we should be good there. Close it back up. We're looking for any nicks, dents, cracks, anything like that. Make sure the cap is tight. Prop looks good. Check the air inlets here. Again, what I'll do is grab my phone because it's a little dark in here. And just uh, use the light there, make sure it's clear. Looks clear, clear. And that looks good. Check the vent, the vent is clear. Make sure there's nothing in here. Good, good. Make sure there's nothing in here. All the screws are tight, nice and tight. Nothing's missing. Just give it a little shake. Make sure there's nothing loose in here. Everything looks good. Gently lift it up. Check all the screws underneath. Good here. And then I will check, visually check underneath here as well. This side looks nice and clear. Good deal. That's what we're looking for right there. Brake lines are good, nothing's leaking. Everything is tight, no loose bolts. Brake pads are good. Brake itself looks really good. And we are properly inflated. All right. Okay, and that's, that's pretty much it. Um, as far as the outside, the exterior of the airplane, uh, what I do is I usually have my flow check or my flow that I do, and then I go through, bring out the checklist, and then just make sure that I checked everything that off on this list. After all that, I head on inside. If you like this content, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.